India Today is the only news channel that has the real story of the Tawang clash, the story of how Chinese troops were marched into misery, chased, bashed and kicked. The PLA troops were surprised by an alert Indian army, overwhelmed and panicked. The Chinese troops ran back. India Today gets you the full story. Ninth December 2022, the India-China clash in Yangtze Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. But this time, bully Beijing was schooled with full aggression. Overwhelmed and overpowered, the Chinese were chased away after a 25-minute clash. India today has the full picture, the 17 steps of what actually happened. This time, the Indian Army had intelligence about the gradual Chinese build-up and the Chinese move towards the higher reaches dominated by India. India had taken adequate measures in time. Not only were a larger number of troops deployed, but reinforcements were also called in. So the moment the Chinese soldiers came, they were overwhelmed by superior number of Indian troops and also the fact that Indian troops had better training and tactics for 17,000 feet altitude. Indian troops rapidly summoned reinforcements that immediately surrounded and pounced on the Chinese. In at least two pockets, Chinese soldiers were beaten up badly and they began to retreat. Indian troops chased the Chinese troops. Some Chinese were even temporarily captured. A group of about 50 Indian army troops then aggressively approached the Chinese post, after which the Chinese fired warning shots in the air, totally unnerved. Indian troops stayed put on the Chinese side as a show of force and issued a warning, after which they returned back to the Indian side. When fists flew, some Chinese soldiers tried to retreat. Their reinforcements came in. According to our sources, and this is unconfirmed, some Chinese soldiers were temporarily held captive. But then the Indian soldiers also chased the Chinese soldiers back to their camp. The Chinese thought they would be able to overwhelm or browbeat the Indians, but they were in for a rude shock. With Shivarur and Camera person Yogendra Singh in Tawang sector, Arunachal Pradesh, Gaurav Savant for India Today. At Yangtze, Indian troops were fully prepared. India Today has exclusively accessed satellite images that not only show the Chinese build up in the Tawang sector, but also give a picture of India's preparedness. The Chinese tried to get a 17,000 feet vantage point on the day of the clash, but failed. Ankit Kumar, who heads India Today's open source intelligence team, with this story. In the icy heights of the Himalayas, a deadly clash between Indian and Chinese soldiers along the line of actual control. On December the 9th, in Arunachal Pradesh's Tawang sector, Chinese soldiers entered into Indian territory with a clear bid to alter the status quo. India today has gotten you the clearest and most accurate visual representation of the likely flashpoint at Yangtze in Tawang. We've accessed high-resolution Planet Labs PBC satellite images from the day of the reported clash. And here's what you can visibly see. One, a new Chinese road winding through the mountains can clearly be seen. This is a high-resolution satellite picture captured by Planet Labs. It was taken exactly on the day when the clashes between Indian and Chinese troops happened. It all started with construction of a military village north to the LAC. As you can see, this is the new military village. There has been work undergoing for past several months now. Leading this village is a new wide road, as you can see. This is, a, this is the new wider Chinese road that connects the Chinese military village to the forward locations right in front of Thangla Pass. Now what we have here on 9 December is a sizable presence, this is most important, a sizable presence of Indian troops just to ensure that what happened in June 2020 in Galwan would not repeat in December 2022 in Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh. 
Now let's decode for you what these images confirm. The Chinese side tried to get a 17,000 foot vantage point on the day of the clash but failed miserably. In the vicinity towards the east are the snow-capped strategic high peaks that go as high as 17,000 feet that many believe the Chinese army wanted to take control of. These uninhabited high points provide a vantage point to monitor developments towards the Tawang side in India. A new wider road leading towards the line of actual control and ending with a post-like location near the Tangla Pass can be seen but did not show a Galvan-like overwhelming presence of Chinese military vehicles and encampments seen in Ladakh in June 2020. While India continues to have a permanent position near this location, new forward deployments likely anticipating PLA intrusions can be seen in this available imagery. Indian forces on the ground this time completely thwarted China's bid to grab Indian territory and despite the terrain challenges, Indian personnel on ground ensured every Chinese soldier who stepped foot on Indian soil was pushed back with aggression and a warning. With Ankit Kumar in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today.